Hi and welcome to this episode where I will shoot my two systems side by side and share the results. One of the systems are the Sony A1 with the G-Master 600mm. The other one is the OM system OM1 with the Mswiggo 150-400mm f4.5 lens. This is not a contest. I just wanted to show you what to expect from the best of the two worlds. Micro Four Thirds and Full Frame for bird photography. In this episode I will focus on photos only. I have not used the OM system enough to, to have an opinion on the video part yet. First I'm going to show these four photos and guess in the comments below which photos are taken by what system. Two of them are from the Sony A1 system and two are from the OM1 system. Please guess below and I will share the results at the end of this episode. Now let's get out to some local lakes and start shooting some comparison photos. I just arrived at a local lake just outside Copenhagen. This is a place I usually just uh, test gear and yeah, just relax sometimes uh, for a few hours in the afternoon. So this is where I'm gonna test these setups. The one is uh, one here is the Sony A1 and the G Master 600 OM1 and the M Swiggo 150 to 400 f 4.5 lens. So it's gonna be really fun to compare how they perform here and how it looks afterwards on the on the photos and the image quality. So. I think uh, today here it's gonna be maybe a little more static birds and uh, maybe if I have the time I will go to another location also um, to do some more birds and flights uh, comparisons. So, but let's get started to, to shoot some photos and see how the, the systems perform. All the comparison photos are shot in auto white balance. They are all shot in RAW and are developed in Capture One with default settings. No noise reduction are applied to these photos or manipulated in any way. I'm not gonna talk so much about the bird species today. I'm just gonna shoot a lot of photos and compare them. So I'm gonna switch between the two systems uh, so fast I can, so I get the same uh, target every time. It's a little hard when the birds are moving around, but. Uh, just if I get them at approximately the same distance, the ISO would be a little higher on the OM system because of the, the higher f-stop. As you can see, both systems shoot really sharp photos. You do get a softer foreground and background with the Sony system. There's a, quite a size difference on the two systems. This one is uh, really easy to walk around with and travel with. And so far I'm really impressed with the Micro Four Thirds sensor. But uh, I have only shot it in, in pretty good light so far, so I still need to, to test it in, in difficult situations. So let's see what happens when I have tried that too. But for now I'm really pleased with the performance. I photographed this branch to compare the depth of field. OM system's f4.5 compares to around 6.3 or maybe 7.1 on the Sony system. I 
Again here you can see the Sony system separates the target better wide open. I've shot a lot of photos with uh, both systems today, so I'm really looking forward to get home and, and compare the results uh, and share it with you. I also plan uh, in a few days to go to another location and shoot some handheld uh, birds in flight with both systems, so we also can see the, the comparison between that and how they perform. So let's jump forward in time and go to the next location. As you have maybe noticed, I am testing the Akaso Brave 7 action camera at the moment. So far, I'm really pleased about the performance of this camera. It's user-friendly, and you can get a lot of accessories to the camera. I will leave a link below if you want to see more about this product. ISO performance of the Micro Four Thirds sensor on the OM1 is better than I expected. The weather is a little dull and it's raining a little, so it's a good day to test out the performance in, in not so good light or low light. So uh, I have shot a lot of uh, handheld birds in flight here. There's a lot of uh, cormorants flying around, some ducks and yeah, different species, so it uh, has been a great day uh, testing the two systems, that's for sure. I can feel the OM system is lighter here and, and shorter, and it's easier to handheld for longer periods of time. I'm excited to see the, the results when I get home. I will say the Sony AF is uh, more consistent here. All in all, it's fantastic uh, performance from bo both cameras, so I'm really excited to see the photos when I get home. As you can see, both systems shoot beautiful photos. The next series of photos I have worked with in post to show you the result you can expect from OM system. These photos has also gotten noise reduction from Tobas Denoise. Now it's time to reveal the results of the guessing contest from the start of this episode. You can see now on the screen what uh, photos are taken with what camera system. It's going to be fun to read the comments and see how many got it right. I'm just going to share my final thoughts on, on these two systems. Uh, I only, only shot the OM system uh, for, for a short period of time, but uh, for what I've seen so far, the image quality and the, the performance is uh, better than I expected. Um, but the AF system uh, compared to the Sony A1 and the G Master 600. It's not as consistent or precise as the Sony system, that's for sure. But that said, you can shoot uh, really fast with the OM system. So if you shoot enough frames, uh, you really get a lot of frames and in focus, that's for sure. That's all I had in this episode. I hope you found it useful. I've had the thought of uh, comparing uh, the Sony 200-600mm to lens with this uh, OM setup, uh, but I'm not sure I'm gonna do it. But please leave a comment below if you think that's a good idea. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this from me in the future. Happy shooting, stay safe, bye.